In this episode, I just wanted to show you how to animate something, to follow something. There are obviously After Effects, programs, things that track movement. But what if you wanted to take an object and just have it follow another object on your screen? I wanted to show you how to do that on short clips. Let's start here. The first thing I want to show you is I have a picture of these two flowers. One's a JPEG, one's a PNG. Now if I open these, there's the JPEG, and there's the PNG. They're basically the same picture, and they look the same. Now I drag these into my editor. Here's the JPEG, and you'll notice all the white area around it is still there, and that's what JPEGs do. Whatever the size of the image is, it's filled in with the rest is in white. Now the other, the PNG, the PNG discards that. That's how you get these images that you can overlay on here. There's a ton of PMGs. You can find them all over the place, um, and they work just fine. Now the next thing I want to cover is keyframes. I did a whole video on keyframes and uh, what they do and how they work, but let me just show you quickly what happens here. Any editor can do this. We have a keyframe, and we're just going to be looking at position. We're not going to get into all this other stuff over here. Um, so with a keyframe, let's say I have my flower over here. So when I play this, nothing's going to happen. Now if I come along and I play here and I say, I want to set a keyframe at this exact position. I want you to right there, and there's that little diamond. So up until this point, I want you to do nothing. And it's going to continue to do nothing. But let's say down to this point, I move it over to the right of the screen. What that's saying is, what, just hold along, do nothing, until you hit this point. Oh, there's another keyframe. Now go do that other thing. So here's what happens. Is it plays along, it hits that keyframe, and it moves down to the end. That's how keyframes work. And you can use them to animate things on your screen quite easily. That's how I do all my animation cards and things that pop in. Here we'll have pop one pop in right up here right now. In comes a keyframe, it holds for a minute, it says something, and then I keyframe it off the screen. Okay, now in a lot of cases, you can, uh, let, me, let me take off these keyframes and let me move this guy over here. In many cases, you can do uh, After Effects. You can use Mocha. In Premiere Pro, even, you can go ahead and you can find points and things to track. And it will track the foot moving up and down. Here's the foot. We'll track that foot moving up and down and up and down on some point, And it will then create a whole series of keyframes of this thing moving up and down and up and down, which then, if you transfer to this flower, it would adopt those keyframes and it would move up and down and up and down and look like it was following the foot. So here's what I want to do. I want to show you how to do this by hand. Let's start over here and let's say we're going to take this little pansy and uh, where should we pop this thing? Uh, let's pop it on something we know that's going to move around. Uh, hey, maybe I can give myself a little tattoo. How about that? Let's pop it on my ankle right uh, let's pop it right there now of course it's not moving it's not doing anything and we want it to move along with my ankle now the best way to do this to start is again like I showed you before it's only movement of keyframes set a keyframe there now let's get the movement of the foot all the way down it stops right there and let's move our little flower all the way down. Again, simple animation. What I'm going to do, you see that little dot there? I'm actually going to use that dot as my reference point right on the edge of that flower. Let's blow this up a little bit so we can see what we're looking at. So I'm going to use that dot right there as my reference point. How about like... that. And at the top, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use my little dot right there. 
move that over. That's my little reference point. Now it's not going to be perfect. So as we move through the frames, it's going to not too bad. It's eventually going to hit that keyframe. There's the dot. There's the dot. And we're all good. Now let's uh, move it back up. Top hips right about there. So let's move this guy right back up there again. And we'll put him right about there. And let's move them on down again. It's the bottom right out there. And then he comes back up to the end. And let's pop him back up here. And there we go. Now this is not going to be perfect. It's going to come down, it's going to follow the foot around, it's doing some kind of funky things, right? Now here's the thing you do, it's, it's quite simple. Um, let's blow this up a little bit more. This guy, it's not cooperating, there we go. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to arrow through each one of these and set it. It may seem like a pain, but it can be rather effective. Here's the next one. Okay. This guy kind of moved a bit. Let's set him by there. You see that little dot? Let's go to the next. There we go. Let's go to the next frame. Move him by the dot. Next frame. Move him right by that dot. There's the next frame. Move him by the dot. And the next frame, move him by the dot. And I'll just do this all fast motion through this so you can see um, what's happening when I get done. It's not going to take me more than a couple of minutes, but I don't want you sitting here watching me do it. Remember, you're just moving forward a frame. Let's see over here. You see that? It's, let's move this over. It's setting all these keyframes. So let me move this to the dot of my ankle and it pops a keyframe up there. Let's watch that one more time. Move it here. There's no keyframe right there. In fact, let me zoom in out a bit so you can see what's happening. Now when I move it in its position, boom, a dot appears. All right, so I'm gonna speed through this and I'll let you know how long it takes. It's not gonna take long at all. And that's how you do that. I know this is a rather complicated one I chose, but that's okay. Um, now, I could certainly go into a further discussion on how to do this, but I just wanted to show you that you can do something and you can move something with something. Um, I wouldn't try a complicated shot like this uh, first. And there you go. Again, not the most perfect tutorial. I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm just trying to give you some ideas to show you what you can do here and to move things up and down and have them follow them. Again, the perfect application would be uh, maybe a, a client as a sign and you've got a moving shot where the sign's moving past and um, you want to composite the, the logo, uh, their new logo on their sign or something, so then it tracks that. And maybe I should show you that next time because that's super simple. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.